My name is Doxa Apostolou. I recently worked on uh, the documentation of the underground ticket offices. Today we're going to talk about uh, the London Transport Museum's collection of uh, photographs that document uh, the underground uh, ticket offices in service. The documentation process started in March 2015 after TfL's notice uh, the closing of the ticket offices. The curators worked across the network uh, uh, with a camera, a notebook uh, and a pocket underground map uh, taking pictures of the ticket offices uh, and gathering relevant information. Uh, what we wanted uh, was to capture uh, this uh, last chapter of uh, the story of underground ticket offices. Almost 60 uh, underground stations were documented and uh, uh, at the moment there are more than 600 uh, photographs in our collection presenting underground offices uh, uh, in service and closed. Uh, here we can see pictures of the ticket offices in the Sloan Square station. The station was documented uh, during the Chelsea Flower Show, which was a happy coincidence for us, because the underground station was crowded and uh, full of colours. Although the ticket office uh, in Mansion House station was not officially closed, it was operating uh, only occasionally at the time, uh, due to staff shortages. Staff uh, worked, uh, the majority of the staff worked uh, uh, on the platforms uh, with uh, customers uh, using uh, ticket machines rather than the ticket office. What uh, amazed me about this project was that going from station to station, uh, I had the feeling that uh, I was traveling through London's history. Although uh, underground stations are modernized to cover the demands of a rapidly growing public. Customers uh, experience uh, almost 170 years of history every day. Every little detail in the underground network, the murals, uh, tiles, grills um, and uh, the ticket windows reveal uh, the broad cultural and social significance of uh, the world-changing development uh, that uh, took place in the capital during 19th and 20th century.